Hey guys, I'm Scott, I'm in the Depache workshop. Today we're going to be looking at the Horizon by Futurette. It's a great little 10 amp machine, runs off your, your home or office standard power point. Um, we're going to look at the, the, the plumbing of the machine because we've been having some uh, clients having issues with water not coming through the group head. So it's, it runs off tanks or the, the tank in the machine or you can plumb it in yourself to your water supply. So we've got a switch down here which controls the options. This line is drawing from the tank, so if you have the switch in this position, this is drawing your water from your tank. Now in between, that's just an off position, and to the other direction will be your main supply. You'll have a braided hose or something similar bringing in your water supply here. Now you have to make sure that this switch is all the way, one way or the other. Now, if you're on mains, you still want some water in the tank. Otherwise, the that can cause the machine some problems. So you've got your t water tank here. If you're on your main supply, you still want some water in the machine because there's a sensor there that uh, detects whether the tank is empty. And that can cause some issues with the machine if you don't have your water there. So let's switch it over to tank and have a quick look at the tank. So, you've got your water tank here, which I have some water in. As I said before, there should always be some water in this tank. You never want this tank to run dry. Um, now, you also can quickly just check this little nipple here and make sure that water is flowing freely through that. And down in here, we do have, this is a machine we're just about to ship out to a, to a lucky customer and one thing that can happen in transit is that this little cable here, if you can see, yeah, we can see that, this one can sometimes pop loose. And that's the sensor that is detecting uh, whether there's water in the tank. So that, that needs to be secured. So just double check that. You've got your nipple flea throwing, freely flowing. Pop your tank in. And then select either tank or mains and you should be good to go. Okay, just adding in a few little extra pieces here. Uh, this bracket can sometimes be a bit loose. That's just held in by a single Phillips head in here. So if this is loose at all, that can get the so sensor a bit wonky, so make sure you tighten that up. Uh, we can get blockages in here. Um, the older mo model had uh, gauze in this fitting through here. It doesn't look like the newer models have that, but we might still get some blockages. So uh, you'll need a uh, 17 for here, a 19, and a 22 for this job. I've already loosened these. This will be a bit more fiddly to get to if you're at home. This is just a locking nut, so you can just loosen that 22 one. You don't need to take that all the way off, and then unwind with your with your 19 size. And this will come off the bracket and you can check in here, make sure you can see straight through, there's no blockages, if that's fine, pop it back on. And one last thing, if you can hear your pump running, but you're getting very low pressure coming through, if on this pressure gauge here, if you've got low pressure, but you can hear the pump running and it's struggling, it might just, it might have seized up a little bit. You might just need a kick if you're, if you're running off tank. Sometimes um, plugging in to a mains connection and getting the mains pressure flowing through there can actually unseize the pump. And, and then that should go up to your regular pressure of around eight to nine bar when the pump is running. Uh, any other queries? Call Apache and we can help you out.